Let's start things off here in the NFC West. This is a division, Bucky, that ran the NFL for a period of time, not too long ago, and then we've seen it uh, kind of have some ebbs and flows there. But when we look at this, these uh, teams, let's try and find the two players that we think would make the most sense for them that we'd love to see. Let's start here with the 49ers. Solomon Thomas at number two I think is a perfect player, and the reason he's a perfect player for them is I know they've taken defensive linemen the previous two drafts, but they need an edge player, a guy that can rush the pass, and there's a value in a guy that can play outside and inside. Solomon Thomas has a nonstop motor, has explosive first-step quickness, and he has great hand skills. That leads me to believe that he's going to be a guy that really routinely gets 10 sacks a year in a variety of different ways from outside or inside in that defense. Yeah, and they've taken Buckner and Armstead from Oregon in the last couple of years, but this is a different type of player in Solomon Thomas. A little quicker, a little more explosive, and I think he gives you a lot more presence on, on passing downs. I like that pick there at number two. All right, let's go to pick 34, second round. Let's stay in the Pac-12, and let's go to Buda Baker, and we can list him as a safety. But, Bucky, I think this is somebody that's going to drop down in the nickel and be an impact player right away. You see him blitz off the edge, what he can do there. He's got uh, he's got great instincts, and that's going to serve him well, whether he's in the nickel spot or whether you want to play him high. I think that versatility is going to serve him well with the Niners. I know it's going to serve him well. I know they took Jimmy Ward a couple years ago. This is an upgrade, a clearly better player to me. I believe he deserves to go there. Yeah, no question. This is a newer, better version. All right, let's uh, let's move on to the Rams, who do not own a first-round pick. But at pick 37, let's go wide receiver. and Let's go Zay Jones from East Carolina, somebody we spent a lot of time talking about. The production, 150-plus catches. You know about that. So many bubble screens and underneath things. But when you get to the senior bowl, you see him stretch the field. We really saw this kid can run, and he can make plays down the field. He can high point the football. And I think he's pretty competitive after the catch. He's very competitive. He is engrossed in the family business. He's a big-time playmaker, and he's just checked off all the boxes throughout the process. Outstanding route runner, great pass catcher, showed up at the senior bowl and dominated. He is someone that I think can come right away and start. But I'm going to go, let's go a little later. How about Shaquille Griffin oh, like coming him. in and being a guy, outstanding athlete, a guy to really impress people at the combine. There you see him run the 40 time, coming out of UCF, long, rangy, can put his hands on, can press. Tough when kid. you have this explosive athlete that you put in Wade Phillips' system that requires man-to-man, -man, a lot of press coverage. Nice fit between player and scheme. Should be a really, really good add for the Rams. Uh, he's competitive. I like him a lot. All right, let's keep things rolling here with the Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals, 13th overall pick. What do they do? Here we go. Larry Fitzgerald is on his way out. He may have one more year, so let's go get a replacement that has a game that's very, very similar. Mike Williams from Clemson, big bodied playmaker great hands great ball skills does a great job playing with a physical style i believe you put him opposite larry fitzgerald for a year then eventually he becomes a number one receiver on this offense i don't know if you could find a better landing spot for him in terms of the way they want to play and having a mentor in larry fitzgerald that plays the game very similarly um, i think it would be outstanding for williams I think it's the best place he could go in the entire draft all right pick number 45 let's go to the defensive side of the ball Tell you what, LSU's been good uh, to the Cardinals. You look at what they've done there with Patrick Peterson and Tyron Matthew. Let's go back and get Duke Riley, linebacker, who to me is one of the most athletic linebackers in this class. You talk about range, sideline to sideline. He gives you that. You see right here him scrape. He's got some stopping power as a tackler. And, Bucky, one of the things I love when you're watching these guys when they're younger, he's a one-year starter. Same as Quan yep. Alexander, who was a one-year starter. Deion Same Jones. as Deion Jones is a one-year starter in this LSU system. You go back and watch him on special teams the year before, he was hell on wheels. He was fun to watch. You can get a lot of production out of him. You talk about special teams, his ability to step into maybe as a nickel back and then eventually as a starter. You know he's tough. He's feisty, competitive, physical. All those traits lead him to believe he's going to be a fantastic pro. All right, the Seattle Seahawks, 26th overall pick. All this Richard Sherman stuff, to me, you look at the cornerback position, could be a need even if Sherman came back. I'm going to go Obi Mellon Fonwu, and that's right, I'm listing him here as a corner. I know he's a safety, and he's going to be up on the board as a safety. We saw him at the Senior Bowl with that rare size and length. You're talking about almost six foot four, 220 plus pounds. I thought he was pretty fluid for a big guy, Buck. We've seen Brandon Browner have success in this scheme. Big corner. Richard Sherman, big corner. They love these type of guys. I would let him start out at corner, and as a fallback, he could play some safety. But I think he could hold up a corner in this scheme. I think he is the perfect replacement. He's the ideal Swiss Army knife and the, the utility man. Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor, they can fill either spot. Cam Chancellor has a year left on his deal. He can plug and play at safety. If you get rid of Richard Sherman, he can plug and play at corner. I love the pick. I love the fit. I think he's a perfect style player for how they want to play. I'm going to go in the second round, and let's go get Deion Dawkins from Temple. This is a team that wants to be more athletic along the front line. Tom Cable has made a living out of trying to get the most out of these athletes. 
Deion Dawkins is a guy that can play outside, he can play inside. I think he's ideally suited to play on the inside. His rugged nature, his blue-collar demeanor should give them an opportunity to be successful running the football between the tackles. No question. I like that pick there in the second round. They have to continue to upgrade that offensive line, and I think Deion Dawkins uh, would do that for him.